G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another Space Engineers video. So with the recent addition of these custom weapon turret controller blocks, um, yeah custom turret controller blocks, um, I've been playing around with a few designs of um, yeah customized turrets and this is a design that I actually got from one of my viewers called Dragonheart and yeah I s first saw this design on his ship and I wondered how you actually build this. Um, so what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to build this thing from scratch and how to get everything working nicely. Um, so it is a little bit tricky and it took me a fair while to actually figure out how he actually built this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So it'll be a nice, short, sweet video hopefully and then we can get everything done. Alright, so now we've got a completely clean slate. So, what we're going to do first off is we are going to put a rotor down in the floor here. So, let's get rid of a block and let's place down a rotor. So, what we want is we want an advanced rotor um, and it all needs to be large grid. And then on top of that, what we're going to do is we're going to place down a hinge. Obviously, there is only one type of large grid hinge. So, we are going to use that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the part. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab a hinge block again. And what we're going to do is move to small grid. And what we want to do is place down one of these hinge parts here. Um, so I will place it down like that so it's kind of looking towards me. And the other thing you want to do with this hinge, and I probably should have mentioned this before, is you actually want this part of the hinge facing that way so that it actually works properly. So let me just go ahead and fix that. So I will spin this hinge around and then I'll get rid of the hinge part. Okay, and then what we're going to do from here is we're going to grab some small conveyor junctions. So we'll grab some small ones. So we'll place them kind of in a, a circle like this. So we'll go around like this. And what you can do as well is you can face this the other way and just have conveyors at the back. Um, but I guess, you know, this kind of, yeah, this is basically one way you can do it. So then from there, what you're going to want to do is grab some, I don't know, maybe some assault cannons. So you can put in some assault cannons. Um, otherwise, what you can do is you can put in some Gatling guns. Um, so maybe, actually this time, I will make the Gatling gun version of this one. So we'll place a Gatling gun there, there, and then there. And do the exact same thing on the other side. So we'll place all of these down. And then what you're going to want to have is a ship with a landing gear on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is jump into this ship here and we're going to find our landing gear and we're going to turn auto lock on. Because this is a small grid, um, yeah, a small grid item, it's very easy to kind of push it around. So you want to be kind of really careful and um, try not to push it too far around. So let me get my bearings here and actually get this thing lined up. Um, it's all backwards. It's confusing. All right, so let's see if we can grab this without bumping it. So I want to get as close as possible um, and as straight as possible. So I think that's looking pretty good. So we just lock onto it like that. And then what we do is we go over to the hinge and then we just drop this down. So I'm going to turn off my HUD here so I can actually see what I'm doing. So you just got to be a little bit careful and the hinge part, if you remember, is right in the middle there. So what we want to do is kind of lower that down. So we'll lower that down like that. And then that should be pretty much where it needs to be. I believe that is reasonably centered. So maybe we go down just a little bit more. So I'm using that middle Gatling gun as kind of a reference to try and get it in the middle of that circle on the hinge. And then the middle of that middle conveyor to the middle of that circle. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn off inertial dampeners on my ship um, to avoid clang. Um, obviously, if you're in an atmospheric environment, then that's probably gonna be a bit hard. So if you're, yeah, you're just gonna have to kind of hold the ship there to do that. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our hinge. So let's see our hinge here, and then we are going to attach it. 
and you can see the ship kind of clanged around a little bit but there it is and it is attached so let's unlock this landing gear so we'll turn the automatic locking off then we'll unlock the landing gear we'll move this thing away and um, we'll put our inertial dampeners back on so the ship doesn't drift away and now what we can do is we can go ahead and actually set up our warfare block um, the new block that was added our custom turret controller so let us go ahead and set it up here and then that's very nice and then we go into here then we find our assign azimuth rotor so that's the rotor on the bottom so we go advanced rotor 3 and then we have hinge 2 which is our elevation and then what we need to do is we also need to place a camera on here so let's go ahead and place our camera so we will place a camera in the middle there I guess you could put one there or there or wherever you want to but I'm just going to place one there and then we'll go back into this block and then we will assign our camera so where can we assign our camera here we go assign that and then what we're going to do is we are going to add all of these weapons. So we'll go three through to six. So we'll add all of those. And then you will notice that the control is kind of um, blanked out. So I'm going to set this to enable AI. And we're going to set the radius to 800 meters, even though I don't really need to. Okay, so then we exit that console and then what we want to do is enter the control seat So we enter the control seat then we go into the K menu and then we find our custom turret controller and then we just hit control So sometimes I have noticed that this button doesn't exist um, If that does happen to you then remove whatever you can see here. It says status nominal warfare Gatling gun used as aiming reference so if you do not see the control button then remove the gun that is listed here and then re-add it again and then it will appear so that was one glitch that i kind of encountered um but yeah hopefully you guys don't encounter that glitch and then yeah there you go there's your your gun so i would actually like to get this on um excuse my testing world here i would actually like to get an external view of this um, so let's see if we can do that. <laughs> That's looking awesome. I love this turret and I have to say I really have to hand it to Dragonheart for designing this thing. It's absolutely awesome. I also noticed that Last Nand Gamers used something similar to this and um, yeah I just think it's a really cool little compact turret and it looks really nice as well. Um, obviously feel free to dress it up however you want but anyway guys that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this content. If you did leave a like and definitely consider subscribing for some more videos, and I will see you next time.